In most residential construction, walls will typically be framed using vertical studs. In some cases, like a shed or a barn structure, horizontal wall framing is preferred to traditional vertical studs. In this video, I'll be covering how to create a wall that uses horizontal framing. To create a horizontally framed wall, I'll need to customize the wall type definition. Many settings are set in the wall type definition, including framing spacing and orientation. To do this, I'll go to the Build menu, click on Wall, and then click on Define Wall Types. This dialog allows me to edit existing wall types or create new wall types. This drop-down menu will show me a list of the wall types available in this plan. Clicking on each one will show the different ways walls are put together. I can use this table to modify one of the layers to meet the needs of the particular project I'm working on. This table is broken up into three sections, exterior layers, main layers, and interior layers. The section that's most important to a project is the main layer. This is going to be the structural support layer and is typically going to be made up of one or more layers of framing. I'm going to find a wall that's somewhat similar to the wall type I want to make, and then modify it to match my needs. In this case, I'm going to start with the framing 5.5 wall type. This wall is simply framing, but I'll use it to build out the wall I'll need. To make a copy of a wall, simply click on the copy button at the top. I can now rename this wall type to be something more accurate to what I'm going to use this wall for. I'll simply name it Exterior Wall. Now that I have my new wall type named properly, I can start adding the different wall layers to it. In this case, I'm going to keep the one layer of framing, but I'll be modifying it to be an 8x8 support post for my structure. I'll leave the material as fur framing 1 and change the thickness from 5.5 inches to 7.5 inches. In the material layer section, notice this layer is marked as a framing layer. Having this checkbox checked will tell Chief to build framing using the material specified above. I'll set the width to 7.5 inches as well. The combination of the thickness and the width will create an 8x8 post. I'll set the on center spacing to 96 inches so I have one post every 8 feet. Next, I'll click on the Insert Above button to create a duplicate of this framing layer we just made. This layer is going to be our horizontal girts for the building. Since girts aren't a structural layer, I'm going to move them out of the main layer and into the exterior layers section by clicking on the Move Up button while the girts layer is selected. From here, I'll adjust the thickness of the layer to match the thickness of my girts. I'm going to have 2x6 girts, so I'll set the thickness to be 1.5 inches. Under the Material Layer section, I'll keep the framing checkbox checked and change the on-center spacing to 24 inches and set the width to 5.5 inches. Since this is going to be my girts, I'll check the horizontal framing checkbox to have this framing run horizontally instead of vertically. The bottom run elevation setting determines the height at which the horizontal framing members first start. This value is measured from the height of the subfloor of floor 1. In this case, I can leave this value at 0 inches, and it will start its first framing member at 24 inches off the floor. The last layer I need to add is an exterior layer of siding. So I'll again click on the Insert Above button to create a copy of the girts layer. I'll change the material to white corrugated metal. I'll then change the thickness to 1 8 of an inch. Since I made a copy of the girts layer, under the Material Layer section, I'll make sure to uncheck the Framing checkbox. Now that the wall type has been built, it's time to set this new wall type as my default exterior wall. To do this, I'll go to the Default Settings icon in my toolbar, Expand Walls, click on Exterior Wall, and then click the Edit button. I'll then go to the Wall Types panel and choose Exterior Wall from the drop-down menu and click OK, and then click Done. Now, when I start drawing walls using my Exterior Wall tool, it will use the new Exterior Wall type with my horizontal framing. Once I've drawn the walls in, I can take a framing overview of the plan and see the horizontal framing. Using the wall type definition, I can quickly and accurately build the wall framing to the specifications of my project.